Welcome to this video on while loops. My name's Andy Ricks, and in this video we're going to look at the other type of loop, the while loop. We looked at the for loop in the previous video, but the while loop is used rather more. Let's start off by looking at the two variables we're going to be using. My age is 87, and you're going to be asked to guess what my age is. Now, you know now, but let's assume that you didn't. And so you guess that my age is zero. I'm a very bright baby. So let's have a look at the first set of code. While my age is not equal to the guess, well, my guess is zero and my age is 87. So they're not the same. But notice the colon at the end of the line. And because of that colon, everything underneath the while is indented. That shows where the while loop starts and stops. So when we stop indenting, we stop the while loop. Everything that is indented gets checked each time we go round. We use a while loop when we don't know how many times we're going to go round. And I don't know how many guesses you're going to need to get my age. So, hence a while loop. The first command here just asks you to guess my age. Then we come to an if statement. If your guess is less than my age, well, notice that colon again. We've got to indent yet more. We've got a second set of indenting that we need to do another tab to press to get to the print bit and that means if your guess is less than my age only do this print statement once we stop indenting that if stops in the same way as the while stops after i stop indenting there so if your guess is less than my age you guess too low if your guess is greater than my age, you guess too high. And then it does a print line just to give me a blank line in between each set of guesses. If my age is the same as your guess, then the while loop stops. The condition is not true anymore because they are the same. So therefore it prints, you guessed right. Let's see that program running. Here is the program running. Now I've asked you to guess my age and you may think I'm a youthful 23, which is fairly close. So we type in 23, press enter, and what I get is your guess is too low. And it asks me to guess my age again. So it now goes round the loop again because it's recognised that I haven't got the right age. So let me try 123, which is rather closer. When I press enter, it tells me that I've guessed too high. Now, I happen to know how old I am because it's in the code at the top here. So I'm going to type in 87 and it says, you guessed right. And that is the way this bit of code works. So what we've got here is a piece of code that goes round and round until I get the guess right. That's what a while loop does. But there is one little problem with this piece of code. It's not a problem that it doesn't work. As you can see, the answers it gives are correct. The problem is more that the logic is slightly out. You see, that print statement that says you guessed right is not part of the loop but it's something that's done when the loop happens. There is a bit of conflict in the logic, and Guido van Rossum quite rightly thought, let's work out a way of making this a little bit better. And here's his solution. Now, I've had to reset guess to zero, because if I hadn't, my while loop would never work. My guess at 87 would still be there. So I'm changing guess to zero. So this is exactly the same loop as we had before. The difference is 
this else statement down here. Whilst my age is not equal to guess, do the ask me about my age and, and print out an appropriate reply, else print you guessed right. This is now part of the while loop. In other words, we're keeping the logic that belongs together, together. And that's always a good thing in programming. So let's give this a whirl. Guess my age. Well, let's go through the same again. We'll guess 23. It's too low. We'll guess 123. And it's too high. Now we guess 87. And it tells me you guessed right. The code works in exactly the same way, but the logic is now better. Thank you.